Plus, an important event is going on, going on right now in San Francisco to help women diagnosed with breast cancer. A doctor who is also a cancer survivor joins us live to talk about the different options. That's coming up next right here on The Four on Two. Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the time to discover more about the disease that affects one in eight women. Today in San Francisco, the focus is on treatment options at an event that's being held at CPMC. Uh, joining me now is Dr. Ann Pellet, co-medical director of CPMC's Breast Cancer Center of Excellence. And doctor, not only are you a breast surgeon, you're also a breast cancer survivor. Talk about the importance of today's Breast Reconstruction Awareness event. Of course, thanks so much for having me, Heather. So, you know, Going through this myself, um, I was really surprised about how difficult it was to really understand all of my options, even though I do this day in and day out as a breast cancer and breast reconstruction surgeon. So I'm really excited that we have this event today to tell women about their options, both for lumpectomy reconstruction and also for mastectomy reconstruction so they can make better choices for themselves. So let's talk about some of the options. What are some of the treatments and procedures that you're doing right now that are leading to positive results? So, you know, many women when they have lumpectomies don't realize that they have the option of having reconstruction of their lumpectomy. And essentially that helps them so that they're not reminded they had breast cancer every day when they wake up. So we hide their scars. We rearrange the tissue where the tumor came out so that they have better outcomes. And you can actually even think about having a reduction or a lift. And it's kind of the silver lining of this. You know, I love telling women, well, you have cancer, but we're going to treat your cancer, get it out, and actually give you something that you're happier with than you started. Yeah. Um, and then on the mastectomy side, our reconstruction options keep getting better and better both from implants and how we use your own tissue to thinking about doing nerve grafting to help with sensation. So I feel so lucky to be providing breast reconstruction in this time. Yeah, and, and it seems as though, you know, the treatments, uh, the procedures, there are advancements every year. What are you most uh, happy about for your patients? So I would say this is actually more of a kind of medical oncology issue, but one of the things I'm most excited about is we now have better tests that tell us if women need chemotherapy or not. So in the last year, we've had two big studies that tell us that women that used to get chemotherapy actually don't need to be treated with chemotherapy anymore because we have more information. And I love telling my patients that we're getting them the right treatment that's targeted and tailored for them. Uh, before I let you go, we're just about out of time, but I, I need to ask you about a possible new anti-cancer vaccine. I'm, I'm sure you've read, read the news today. It's from researchers <laughs> at the Mayo Clinic's Florida campus. Uh, they say this vaccine works to help the body resist the return of breast cancer. Uh, you have to agree, this could be a real game changer. Totally, and it's for, it's about 20% of women have the kind of cancer that this drug would treat, and it's a treatment that would be really helpful to prevent it from coming back in situations where it could be more aggressive, so I agree, it's really exciting. All right, well, thank you again for coming on to talk with us about this. So much. Uh, much success uh, with your event today and spreading the word about the various options to breast cancer uh, survivors. Thank you so much, doctor. Of course, thanks.